In this tutorial, we'll cover how you add expenses and expense categories from the desktop version of Cleaner Planner. We've covered how to add expenses from the mobile app in another video, which you can find the link to in this tutorial page or in the description of this video. Before we go through adding an expense, we'll go through how you add an expense category. Expense categories allow you to group and organise your expenses by their type, for example, fuel, equipment, wages and so on. To add and manage your expense categories, you just need to go to the settings menu, which is the spanner icon in the top right, and then go to the lists tab. Then you need to select expense categories from the drop down menu in the top left. Now if you already had some categories added, they'd be listed here, but we don't have any yet. So to add one, we just need to click on the add expense category. We just give the category a name, so for example, fuel. And then we save. And you'll see that expense category is now listed. Uh, we'll add a couple more while we're here. So we've now added the expense categories that we want. You could also manage your expense categories here. So for example, if you wanted to rename a category, just click on it, change the name, and then save expense category. So now we need to go through how you add an expense. So we'll save settings here, and then go to the expenses tab and then click on add expense in the top left hand corner. That brings up the add expense window and you'll see the first thing you need to do is select an expense category um, and in this drop down menu you'll see the three that we just added. Now you can also add an expense category from here so you don't have to do that via the list tab in the settings menu. All you do is select add expense category here, give it a name in the same way and select save expense category. Obviously that automatically assigns the expense category that you add to this expense. So if you need to add more than one expense, it's probably best to add those via the settings menu. So we'll change that back. Then we just need to set a date, which defaults to today's date, which is what we want. Add a description, an amount, Select the payment method, and again we can add one here if we need to, and then select save expense. And you'll see that expense that we've just added is now showing there on our expenses tab. Now it's also possible to add a recurring expense, which is very handy if you have a regular fixed expense that you don't want to have to add every week or every month, for example vehicle or liability insurance. So again, to add a recurring expense, just select add expense, Select the category, so in this case it's insurance. Select the date that that expense is paid, so again we'll leave that as today's date. And then select the recurring checkbox. At that point we can select how frequently this expense reoccurs. In this case it's monthly, so we'll select months. And then put a 1 in there, and then that expense will reoccur on the same date each month. Again, set the amount. Set the payment method and save expense. And again, we can see that expense on our expenses tab with the frequency of that expense in the recurring column. So that's how you add expenses and expense categories. You can find more tutorials at help.cleanerplanner.com or contact us on support at cleanerplanner.com.